I, I can recall the, the very first meeting that we had and I was just like, we got to go, you know, I, I got to, <laughs> I was just like, I got to do this because I don't, you know, I don't want to get on one of these other medications. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the support was great. Um, Shakul, you, you you've you been fantastic in the whole process. I mean, I, I just, uh, you and, and Shamiz, I, I can't thank you guys enough for um for doing this for you know obviously for helping me out I, i'm 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 just thrilled to be you know on the other side of the whole the whole thing um mm. and not 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 only not taking those um medications that the doctor was suggesting but not taking any medication Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today is testimonial time and I'm joined here with John who has been able to heal himself from Crohn's disease. So welcome to the channel, John. Hi, Shakur. Awesome. Well, John, it's uh, really nice to have you on and just great to see another person who's been able to heal their body. What I'd like you to do is just start off by telling everyone a little bit about your story, you know, when you got diagnosed and some of the advice you got <laughs> given and some of the different things that you tried along the way. Okay, sure, I can do that. So I, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease roughly two and a half years ago. Um, I, although I'd been, you know, suffering from the disease much longer than that, and um, mm. just to kind of go a little bit back, I would say that I think probably like about seven years ago, I started having, you know, different. Um, you know, problems. They weren't, they weren't like horrible problems, but, um, uh, you, you know, it was, I, I think I had done some things like, uh, cutting dairy out or trying to limit dairy and things got a little bit better. Um, but I would say, you know, probably roughly about four to five years ago, things kind of did get much, I mean, did get worse. Um, and at the time, I, I told my um, doctor about the symptoms that I was having, and I, I, I can't really roll back in my mind, but I'm not sure if I explained it well enough, but I was kind of told at the time what you're describing is normal. Um, and then I, I kind of, I, yeah, I know, I, I kind of tucked that away, and probably it was like another two years, and um, I, you know, it, something I would describe, I think other people may call it a flare, but where I was going through a little, uh, kind of a rough patch and I, I just made another mental note. I, I've got to go see a doctor about this. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, at that time when I went to see the doctor, um, I was told that, you know, this is, this is not normal and we're going to run some tests and, mm -hmm. uh, eventually, um, I, I was told at the time is that, you know, I need to go see a, a, G, a GI doctor. Um, you know, I was, I was a little skeptical, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I didn't set up an appointment right away. Like I was told to, mm. um, and I, I think when I finally saw the GI doctor and I got a calprotectin test, it was it was like off the, it was off the charts. So I, obviously there was something wrong. Um, and you know, not long after that, I went ahead and had a colonoscopy and that's, that's how I was diagnosed with Crohn's. Um, and that was, yeah, that was roughly, you know, two and a half years ago. I, I think over, you know, one of the things I was told and that I recall being told in the beginning is that, you know, should I stop drinking coffee or should I do this or that? And I was kind of told that, well, diet doesn't, you know, it doesn't play in major role in this, <laughs> which, um, you know, now seems kind of odd, you know, every, everything I tried, even when I, I heard about like trying to cut back on animal products, um, you know, I, I started eating, you know, like tofu or I wasn't mm. comparing it to like, you know, the program that, that you guys have in the diet, not nothing. I don't think anything I was doing would have actually, um, 
you know, really made a difference. Yeah, fantastic. And just talk a little bit about uh, what kind of symptoms you were experiencing around the time you got diagnosed, like what, um, what were you experiencing in the body? Um, you know, at, at that time, it was, it, it was mostly, um, I mean, the thing that really kind of set me off was just, just having diarrhea, which it seemed like, mm-hmm. um, you know, in, in retrospect, it seemed like it was like for a week, but <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I didn't, um, you know, at, at that time it was just like, uh, having to run to the bathroom, having mm-hmm. to go to the bathroom, you know, multiple times in an hour. Um, mm. I, I always, it seemed like it was a problem that was always occurring in the morning. Mm. Um, and you know, it eventually it would subside, I imagine, cause I just didn't have anything left, um, mm. to go to the bathroom. Um, but, uh, you know, it is, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to describe, um, you know, the kind of, you know, the pain at the time, but I would also get, um, bloating and gas and you know at at times it just I just felt like I just had to go you know just go lay down um Mm. you know from that yeah those uh, some of those symptoms you know continued even when I was when I was on medication so it was very hard Mm. to determine you know whether the medication you know was helping or not you know I, I can remember things like um, you know, not, not wanting to go to bed cause I was feeling bloated. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I wanted to get rid of that feeling before sleeping, mm-hmm. you know, things like, um, not being able to sleep on one of my sides because it was painful where I would just sleep mm-hmm. on my back, you know, roughly like six, seven months ago, I I'd been talking to my GI doctor about a while about doing another colonoscopy. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I, Obviously, I wanted to push it off. I, I do feel like, you know, only going through at that point one colonoscopy, it, it was like, you know, uh, kind of like, um, you know, pushing on a hornet's nest. It, it, it mm-hmm. didn't feel good to have it, and it, it took a mm-hmm. while, you know, to feel better afterwards. Yeah. So I, I didn't, I didn't want to do another one, and finally mm-hmm. got to a point. I think roughly in August of last year where. You know, I, I just had a experiencing like a bad week um, yeah. and I just reached out to him and I was like, uh, yeah, may, maybe it's time to do the, the colonoscopy. And mm. um, that I did I did one in early September of last year yeah. and the, the colonoscopy showed that um, I had some uh, ulcers in, I guess, the very end of my small intestines. I can't remember. It's at some point after that, I talked with my doctor and he was recommending either going on to Humira, Remicade mm-hmm. or Antibio. And mm-hmm. that that's really kind of what eventually led me to, um, you know, kind of find find a high, high carb health. All right. Because I, I started doing on YouTube, like a lot of research trying to figure out well, which one of these, <laughs> you know, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I, I didn't want to take any of them, to be honest. But, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but eventually I started leading me to other types of, um, you know, solutions or uh, alternative type things mm-hmm. of doing. And um, that, that, that just seemed like a bet, much better approach. I, I'd always had discussions with my wife about, you know, people getting better from inflammatory inflammatory bowel disease by by mm. diet or uh mm-hmm. yeah through through diet and mm. i i just did i just didn't know how and um yeah i, I think obviously finding you guys i mean I, uh, i've got dr david klein's um book uh self-healing mm-hmm. uh, colitis and crohn's mm-hmm. um I, I don't think that just you know, reading through the book, I would have, I would have made it, you know, through, um, the process. Mm. I I obviously needed a lot of, um, you know, help and, you know, going through the process, which, Mm. which, which, Mm. you know, you, you were, you were great at. I mean, I I think I I can recall the the very first meeting that we had and I was just like, we got to go, you know, I, 
I got to, I was just like, I got to do this because I don't, you know, I don't want to get on one of these other medications. So just talk about, yeah, so obviously that's kind of why you started the program because, you know, you obviously didn't want to go on any of those um, stronger medications. You thought maybe if you can heal it naturally, that's a better approach, which obviously we agree with. Uh, talk about how you found the program and, and the support because as you just said, you know, if you tried to follow it, if you tried to follow it by yourself, you think you might not have been able to get the result that you've got. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the support was great. Um, Shakul, you, you're, you've been fantastic in the whole process. I mean, I, I just, uh, you and, and Shamiz, I, I can't thank you guys enough for mm. um, for doing this, for, you know, obviously for helping me out. I, I think that, um, you know, my, my health is, is um, you know, is so much better you know, from, mm. from where we started, I, I literally think it was six months ago. Um, yeah. It just from, I, I feel like from the beginning, it was just kind of a, a gradual improvement, the whole, the whole from the very beginning. Um, mm. uh, you know, like I, I talked about not sleeping on my side, you know, that, you know, things like that started in, improving right away. Mm -hmm. Um I, I kind of feel like I, I went from a, a just a, a dis, dysfunctional state mm. to something that I would describe as is being normal, you know, at, mm. at this point. Um, yeah. And, and you know, as we started the the process, I was I was still taking the medication, and eventually, mm -hmm. um, you know, I did come off the medication. It's pretty amazing, you know, where, where I am now is like. To the to the point where it's like I was thinking like um, I, yeah I'm just gonna to, you know just stop stop you know doing this all the way mm. to the point I mean we've we're we're done with this and I'm 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 still um, you know basically following you know the guidelines uh, just just from reading the book um, I, I don't think I could have gotten through it and um, I mean one of the I guess tips I would say that I had was I just tried to keep it really simple. I do feel like it, it certainly takes a lot of uh, perseverance. Um, mm -hmm. At least I did. I mean, it, it's it's very easy to to have gone through the process looking back and saying it wasn't it wasn't that hard or it was easy. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I do remember um, struggling every, every time we tweaked something or, or took something away. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm just thrilled to be, you know, on you know, the other side of the whole, the whole thing. Um, mm. and not, not, not only not taking those, um, medications that the doctor was suggesting, but not taking any medication, mm. um, you know, I think is, is, is ideal. And, um, all the documentaries that, that you guys put in there, I mean, uh, it just it kind of just points to the whole plant, you know, diet, food based diet, um, is is being just generally good for your health. Um, yeah. And uh, you know, I, I I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think I, maybe in a lot of our meetings that we had, maybe I, I wasn't smiling too much, but I can kind of remember at the point where we, um, or I went out and did like the CRP test and it, and it came back. I mean, it was like shockingly low. Yeah. I, I was, you know, cause it, 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 it just didn't even like, it didn't like click. It's like, you know, you've, you know, everything has improved so much. You're in, 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 I'm in such a better state than I was before. Mm. Um, and um, so, I mean, that that's obviously a really good feeling. I don't know if you could tell, but after that, I was I, <laughs> <laughs> I was smiling a lot more in our, uh, um, you know, our, our meetings. Yeah, that's fantastic. I think, you know, it's such a good job. And yeah, it's not easy. I mean, we never tell anyone that it is easy. Uh, I think that would be doing people a disservice, but um, as you can tell now, I think the hard work was definitely worth it. And um, you know, you've got your life back. I think you're back on riding your bike, aren't you? And um, yeah, you can just do things that you weren't able to do before, which is the main thing. And you're off all your medications too. And that's um, you know, one of our major goals is to help people live a healthy life without the reliance on medications. And I think that's that's you know great 
from your point of view that you've been able to achieve that and obviously that means a lot for your health in the long term as well not having to put those drugs into your body um, just as we kind of finish off the the, the kind of um, interview here um, can you just give some advice to people who are watching this video like what would you tell someone who might have been in a similar situation to what you used to be in um. <laughs> I mean, if, if just thinking back, if if there was some way for me to do it over, I, I would have liked to have um, gone through the program many years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I, 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 you know, if if someone was in the same situation as me, I, I would highly recommend that that you know you you try to tackle this, um, you know, by you know changing you know changing the way you eat. I mm -hmm. mean, it, it just it, it it makes um, you know so much sense to do this. I mean, uh, you don't have to deal with um, you know the you know the side effects of the medicine. And um, <laughs> I'm I I don't even I couldn't even tell you what the side effects are of the medicine. Some sometimes I'm not even sure you know some, if I'm experiencing something because it's the Crohn's disease or it's just the side effect of the medication. All right. Yeah. Um, so this is, you know, this is to me, um, it, it's, it's a, it's like a, a, it's a no brainer that, um, you know, I, I, you know, I would definitely recommend, um, someone in a similar situation as me to, you know, yeah. get into this program and, um, you know, try it out. I mean, like, like I said before, you've you've got to be motivated you got to have the perseverance um you're gonna struggle but mm. you you know i mean you just got to weigh the the pros and cons um of, of of not you know not doing this um you know i'm, I'm sure we've any anyone in this situation has been told that they're going to be on these kind of medications for the rest of their life mm. um I, you know, I mean, I'm not taking any medication and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing great right now. So, um, you know, my, my approach is to, you know, is to keep, keep doing what I'm doing. And I, I don't, you know, I don't want to go back on, on those medications. Um, and it just, this, this approach just makes so much more sense. Yeah. Fantastic. So well, I think that's great advice. And you know, congratulations to you. You now have a life after thank Crohn's disease, yeah. and um, thank you, Shakur. You, know, you worked really hard for it, so you should you should be proud of yourself. And Shamiz and I are very proud of you. And yeah. uh, you know, obviously, wish you all the best for your future. And um, thank you so much for sharing your story. You're welcome, and and please please tell Shamiz thank you. Um, you know, I, I just again. I, I just can't thank you guys enough for, for doing this. Um, mm. it, you know, it, it's something that I, I, I really needed and I, I fully believe that there's, there's so many people out there, you know, that could, could benefit from this. Um, that, uh, I, you know, I hope that they can, you know, take advantage of it. Fantastic. All right. So, Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, just another person that has been able to heal themselves naturally on a whole food plant-based diet. Uh, congratulations again, John, and thank you.